So another bout here in the middleweight division in the red there with the UKR of Ukraine on his back is Ilya Torbitsky, the European Youth Round Champion. One. And in blue there for Armenia, Eric Abelian. So Abitsi looking to try and find that jab early on, followed it with the right hand. Abelian though fired back. Good jab to the body there from Abelian. And then caught one himself right in the chest. Jab to the chest, a much underrated punch. It takes your opponent totally off balance, takes the steam out of them. Might not hurt them, but tactically, it absolutely achieves what you need it to. So a bit skeet. Little uppercut on the inside. <laughs> Haven't found their range yet, these two. Plenty being let go, plenty being thrown, but not very much landing. And then when they do, do get in tight like that, they're, they're a bit too tight, no real space to work. Right hand, a right hand apiece there, right hand from Abelian, and then another one in from Toibitsky. Just looking at each other in, in centre ring, really. Just throwing that left hand as he was moving off to the left there, Abelian. Looking for the body, Toibitsky. Abelian did well to turn him on the ropes there. Left to the body from Abelian. Aiming a big right hand there, Toibitsky. Abelian saw that coming from the way back. Both jabbing, both falling short. Into the final minute. Good short right hand there from Toibitsky. Took his feet in, just short the right hand up and caught Abelian as his weight was coming forward. Jab there from Toibitsky, who maybe has just found his distance a little bit better of the two heading into this final minute of the opening round. Switch southpaw very, very briefly there, Toibitsky. Didn't throw anything out of the left handed stance. Chopping down with the right hand there, the Ukrainian. Bell goes at the end of the round. Well, that was tight for a long stretch. The final minute there, I felt Toibitsky maybe just pulled away. He just did enough. <laughs> Judges in agreement with that. Ten nines from all five. Korea, Sri Lanka, Ireland, Bulgaria, Uzbekistan. A lot of fencing early on, jabs that weren't quite reaching. Check us out, please. Round two. So it's the second round. Toybitsky of Ukraine in the red. He swept the board in that first round. Ten nines from all five judges. The Belian in blue of Armenia. He's got to do something about that in his second round now. Oh, 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 oh,
Decent combination there from Toyvitsky, finished on the left hand. Looked to throw the right hand there, Rebellion, it wasn't quite there. Jab again from Toyvitsky. Good attack to the body there from Rebellion. Still moving forward, the Armenian. Still doing everything that he can to try and get on top of Toybitsky and, and force the issue, wrestling on the inside. Good right hand there from Abelian. Toypitsky trying to use the jab on the outside. I think towards the final minute of round two, he's got a very muscular approach, Abelian. He's he looks like a very fit fighter. Jab coming out there from Toybitsky and maybe just some slight signs towards the end of the round that Toybitsky's beginning to feel this a touch. Abelian just falling short with the right hand there. Switching southpaw there, Toybitsky, just to give Abelian something else to think about. Some blood coming from the nose there of Abelian. That was a decent. Punch right on the break. Final 30 seconds of the round. I think maybe both of them actually are just beginning to feel it slightly. And the blood coming from the nose will be wiped away there by the doctor over in the neutral corner. And have a quick look at it. Maybe have a quick feel of the bridge of the nose just to make sure that it's. All OK. So that's the second round in the books. And Abelian needs that second round on the scorecards, having dropped the first. I don't think he's going to get it. Ten nines again for Ilya Torbitsky. So he's in control of this, heading into the third and final round. We've seen the scenario a, a good few times since the start of the competition. And Abelian somehow got to try and turn this around. Nobody's really managed it yet when their opponent has had a majority of two-point leads, let alone all five. It's a very, very difficult thing to do. Seconds out, please. Third round. Good jab, that from Abelian. Toypitsky throws a couple of jabs himself, then the right hand. Just trying to distract Abelian there, Toypitsky shooting that right hand to the side and then just a, a little shuffle. Abelian won't be taking kindly to that, I can tell you. A lot of blood coming from that nose makes you wonder whether there is a bit of damage there because he's just been touched on it, really. And there's a fair bit falling out of it. It's not an absolute torrent, but the more there is, the more you think that there could be a fracture in there. The bridge of his nose is pretty thick as it is. I think that nose has gone on him before. Most fighters have, have suffered that. But Abelian quickly back to the centre of the ring. Good jab from Toybitsky. Nice left hand on the inside as well. And he's 
got a bit of swagger about him, Toy Bitsky, again, just dancing around with the feet, taunting up Ellie in a bit. Slightly unnecessary, I think, to be honest, at this stage of proceedings, but a bit of showmanship, not the worst thing in the world. Crunching right hand, and Abelian's gum shield comes out. He celebrates dislodging it, and he is beginning to pick Abelian apart a bit in this third and final round. He's won those opening two rounds, and now he's just really he's turning the screw on him a bit. And the referee is going to stop the fight on the advice of the doctor. And I think there is a fracture there. You can see that the, the bridge of the nose has noticeably thickened since he was first sent over to the to that far neutral corner to see the doctor. I don't think that's my eyes deceiving me. I think that that is quite noticeable. And the amount of blood coming from the nose would suggest that there could be there could be a break in there. And he was just beginning to cut a slightly sorry figure rebellion because he was two rounds down. He couldn't win the fight. Toy Bitsky was beginning to play with him a bit. And no bad thing, I don't think, that he's been rescued to an extent before the end of that fight. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner, bout number 100. 72 by RCE in third round from the Red Corner Ilya Tohobitsky, Ukraine. So Tohobitsky in the next round will face Marcel Mangold of Germany, who got that walkover in the previous scheduled bout.